Hello everyone and welcome to today's Daily Splat. Today's video number 15 in our series of 20 and uh, the Premier League coming ever closer with each day. Of course yesterday was the Community Shield uh, match between Manchester United and Manchester City ending 3-2 to Manchester United. Well done Manchester United on a very good performance. That's all I'm going to say because the focus of today's video is Sunderland Athletic Football Club. Now then, Sunderland are a very interesting side and I think the best thing to do is just to read you a list of their ins and outs before we try and analyse this team. So, in this transfer window, so far as of the 8th of August 2011, Sunderland have brought in Wes Brown, Rory Deacon, G Dong Wan, Ahmed El Mohamedi, although admittedly he was already at the club, he's just uh, now a proper full time player rather than on loan. Uh, Craig Gardner, Sebastian Larson, John O'Shea, David Vaughan, Kieran Westwood, and Connor Wickham. Leaving the club, Jordan Henderson, Michael Kay, Nathan Luscombe, Daniel Madden, Steed Mulbronk, Jean Yves Mavoto, Liam Noble, Christian Rivieros on loan, Robert Weir, Nathan Wilson, and Bolo Zenden. Lots of changes at the Stadium of Light for Steve Bruce's team. What does it all mean with the team that's already there? Well, quite frankly, they know that last season was a bit of a disappointment. First half of the season, they were up in the top half of the table. They were challenging for one of those Europa League spots. They fell away quite drastically, and uh, for a while it looked as though they might continue to plummet in towards the relegation places, but that never happened. Of course, they did lose Darren Bent halfway through the season, which was a big blow to their prospects as well. He's gone on to Aston Villa and continued to be pretty decent there. So, <coughs> basically, it's all about how all these new players are going to settle. Now, at the back, bringing in John O'Shea and uh, Wes Brown from Manchester United, they are great signings. And you're going to get a very settled uh, Sunderland back line with those two, you, you have to think. I mean, you've, when you think you've also got... Michael Turner and Titus Bramble, who are two decent centre-backs in there, along with Wes Brown and John O'Shea on one of the flanks. And you've got El Mohamedi who's back, and you've also got Philip Bardsley, another ex-Man United player in there. Um, they've got a solid defence. The players that they've managed to bring in as well to uh, add to their uh, forward play is good. Obviously, Asamoah Gyan is still there. They've lost Bent, they've lost Welbeck as well, because he's now staying at Manchester United. And in the middle of the park, they have lost the experience of Zenden and Marlbronk, and they have lost the promising Jordan Henderson, who's obviously gone to Liverpool. But the players they've brought in are more than capable of filling those spots. David Vaughan was brilliant for Blackpool, whether he was in a forward role or indeed wide. Uh, Sebastian Larson is a very, very good winger uh, for you know a club in Sunderland's position. Craig Gardner is a combative midfielder who will do a good job. And even though I mentioned him as a right-back, El Mohamedi is quite cap capable of playing on the wing as well. And to replace the forwards, they've lost Connor Wickham, one of the brightest prospects in British football, has been brought in for £8 million from Ipswich. Bit of a risk, but it'll be interesting to see how it goes. And just in case that doesn't work, they have brought in the Korean G Dong Won, who has come in with high recommendations. So what's going to happen with Sunderland this season? Well, I think Steve Bruce has got another year of experience, and I do think that is going to be a factor, If as long as he doesn't get the heave-ho halfway through, or something like that. I think that they're going to be a bit more mentally stable than other teams, and I think they are going to finish in the top ten. I don't think you're going to have as big a collapse as you had last season if they get into that position early on. I think Sunderland are going to finish ninth this season and I think that would be a very good result for the Black Cats particularly as in my predictions it puts them above Newcastle so uh, they'll love that okay so there you go Sunderland to finish ninth that is of course if everything goes well and uh, everyone gels together effectively they might not but I think with Steve Bruce there it's probably gonna work out okay that's all for today uh, tomorrow Swansea City the uh, first Welsh Premier League side are the subject of the video. We'll be talking about them and their prospects of staying in the Premier League after winning promotion through the playoffs. So join me tomorrow for that video. Until then, bye-bye.